What is up? This is Omar Gosh TV and Melissa. And you're watching the Steel One. Yeah! Give me kiss. What's going on you guys? My name is Rich and I am the Steel One and today is a special weekly what's up. Today's special is all about Omar Gosh TV and his wife Melissa and the story of this dream that I'm still not sure if I'm going to wake up. <laughs> it's a, um, I don't even know what to say. This has been awesome. Um, I don't know what George and I did in this life to deserve this. Um, I mean, first James came and met me and George and hung out with me and George and filmed with me and George. Which, you know, that alone was just mind-blowing and all that. If you haven't seen that video, go check out. I have a three-part uh, vlog um, on hanging with my hero or something like that. I can't remember what I called it. Um, spending time with my hero. And so, you know, that alone was just amazing. And I just never thought that would happen. And now... Omar and Melissa. I mean, you got two for one. I mean, after James, I knew there was a possibility that someday, someday, um, that I might be able to meet Omar. But the fact that I got to meet Omar and Melissa, and, and when I mean meet, it wasn't like, you know, and, and uh, there's nothing wrong with the fan meetup. Not at all. I thought it was amazing. It was so many people showed up. And Omar was so awesome to everyone. He, We were there for like four, four and a half, maybe five hours. Somewhere in between four and five hours. And he was just spending time with every single person who came to see him. People drove hours to come see Omar and Melissa and they each spent quality time with every single person that came I know that every person that came has a story of talking with Omar you know it was incredible but George and I had were a little special I guess um, let me just start at the beginning. So, <clears throat> from time to time, George would talk to Omar on a uh, Twitter DM or whatever um, over the last couple of years or whatever, off and on, you know. George getting advice from Omar and, and whatnot. And, um, and of course, you know, Omar knows exactly who George is and, and whatnot. And anyway when he announced that he was coming to Colorado um, I mean he didn't communicate a whole lot but a little bit with George we didn't know exactly what the plan was what was going on um, so we knew he was coming and there was a little bit of mention of you know spending a couple days with him and I don't know what that actually meant or anything or even if, you know, I was involved at all, <laughs> you know, because, you know, it's, I, I have no, uh, I, I have no uh, delusions that Omar was, was uh, originally intended to come and meet me too, but. But now that I've been around him and met him, maybe he did, you know. Gosh, I don't know. But all I do know is that I made a friend this week. Friends. Plural. Friends. I'll get into that in a minute. Anyway, so... 
So, when he originally came, th decided to come, we all know that he was going to go to the Stanley Hotel, which is an Estes Park. We didn't know exactly what his plans were. We had no idea what he was doing or where he was staying or, you know, I I know we were kind of thinking maybe he was going to stay at the Stanley Hotel the whole time he was in Colorado. And we didn't even know how long he was going to stay in Colorado at first. We just thought it was going to be like for the weekend or we didn't know what. So, um, I had an idea that, you know, obviously this, this trip was, I mean, it was a two part reason why he took this trip. The number one reason was to spend time with Melissa because they really haven't, um, had a trip together, you know, outside of Florida, like I think the whole time they were married. Um, so um it was it was a lot to do with that and i totally respect that and i think it's so cool um i think that they need to spend time together absolutely so my my thought at first was hey george let's get a hotel in estes park not necessarily the stanley hotel just a hotel room and for the weekend and then you know when omar is available on his schedule and his timing that you know, we could, you know, hang out whenever he's available, you know, but we're, we're there, you know, that way we don't have to drive all the way up there and all this stuff, last minute, you know, stuff. I'm, I'm a planner, I'm a bit of a planner. So, anyway, so, but then George brought up a brilliant thought that, well, what if they're not staying in Estes Park. Maybe they're just going to stay one night at the Stanley Hotel, you know. And then what if they come that first night and they want to hang out and do something when they first got here and we're up in Estes Park and they're down in like Denver or something, you know. It's like, yeah, good point, good point. So I told George I would message Omar and I left him this big long thing, him, you know, telling him you know a little bit about me like I, I'm not trying to use them for subscribers which is totally true and I talk about that in my last weekly what's up last week um, but he never messaged me back or anything which he didn't do on purpose he's got he showed me he gets a crap ton of messages and he tries to go through them but his notification or his notification or his phone is turned down so a lot of times he doesn't even hear texts and stuff either he did uh let's see was it saturday um i went to george's and uh we hung out all day at and just kind of waited around to, you know and omar finally kind of messaged george saying you know is there any places that he told us where he was. He's in Georgetown, and if there were any places around there to film and stuff, and we're like, oh, he wants our help getting an idea and stuff like that. It's like, oh, we haven't really been up to Georgetown yet. We really haven't been up in the mountains too much, only twice so far. And of course, that's what our plan is this summer: is try to hit up, hit up some places up in the mountains. And that's one place we haven't even looked at yet so we you know we quickly got on the computer or and I'm trying to find places and I found this Hamilton house that's up there and so we both uh, DM'd him with it and he already knew about it obviously you know he's probably googling just as much as we are and so he already knew about it so uh, then he's like, well, I'm thinking about having the fan meet up in Georgetown. And, and he just said, thinking about it. It's like, well, we, we were kind of thinking, well, maybe we'll just go stay up in Georgetown. And that way um, we could at least be the first ones at the fan meet up, you know. And we get just a little time before, you know, the crowds of people start showing up. You know, that's, that's what we were kind of thinking. And so I... I messaged Omar and I got confirmation that yes, he's going to have the fan meet up in Georgetown. And I said, okay, we're on our way. We jumped in the truck. Or no, at first I booked the hotel and I know we jumped in the truck and drove to Georgetown and stayed in this hotel. And it was, it was nice. It was nice staying in that hotel. And 
um, we, I messaged Omar as soon as we got there and said, hey, you know, we're here, and um, he didn't reply back, well, at least when we were awake, he ended up replying back later saying, oh, I'm so tired, maybe you, maybe you guys would want to come by in the morning and see this haunted bed and breakfast I've stayed in, and I was like, oh, we're going to get to hang out with Omar and Melissa. He said around 11, and the fam meetup wasn't until um, 1. I'm like, cool, you know, that's kind of what we wanted. You know, we wanted some alone time with them because, you know, they mean so much to us. And I'm not saying that they mean more to us, you know, more than any of you guys. I mean, I, I don't know. We're just blessed. I don't know what to say. <laughs> oh, I, don't, I don't know. I have no... There's no, I don't know. Anyway, so uh, next day we got up early and it took forever to get to 11. And we looked up where they were staying and we were literally like five minutes away from them. I mean, literally, literally we, you know. So we waited and 11 o'clock came and we pulled up to the, the bed and breakfast. And a lady instantly walks out and I get out of the truck and she's standing there staring at us and we're like what and she goes well this is a bread and breakfast and I'm like oh I know we're here to meet somebody and he's like she's like who's that and I go well Omar she goes I don't know who that is and I go Melissa nope I don't know who that is I'm like oh. well there's they said they're staying here and they I'm supposed to meet them here she goes, well, there is a couple upstairs. They haven't come downstairs yet, so I don't know. And she says, well, you could stay here for like 10 minutes, but you're going to have to go. And I was just like, oh, crap. You know, it's not like at that time I didn't have Omar's number, so what do I do? So I started pulling out my phone to see if I can DM him, see if he would respond or whatever. But i didn't even get into twitter and all of a sudden the front door opens and it's omar oh my god that first and he, he he says first thing he says is rich and i was like oh my gosh he just said my name i wasn't even sure he knew my real name you know not like the steel one he called me rich and i was like melted inside <laughs> and i ran up to him and um, he was just going to give me one of those handshakes and a hug. I grabbed him like a bear and hugged him super tight. And, um, it was so awesome. And then he went and hugged George and George was crying and, um, it was cool. And then he, he invited us in and there, Melissa was standing there and I was like, oh my gosh, Melissa, I ignored Omar and went straight beeline to Melissa and gave her a big hug and, um, and you know, we were, Omar was talking and showing us around. I didn't listen to a word he said. I don't know, probably George didn't either. We were just, we were just so just excited and just so, I don't know, scatterbrained because we were so excited and uh, couldn't believe this was happening, you know. Anyway, so they were all packed and ready to go, and so I we helped them load up their rented vehicle with their bags and stuff, and then they took us out to breakfast, and um, George and I had gotten them some gifts, and well, before we went in, we gave them to him, he opened them up, and that was so cool, and uh, he really liked it, and, uh, yeah. That was awesome, and you know, and last week, you remember I told you guys um, that what I was going to tell them, and I told them, you know, I told them, look, I we are not one of these people that are looking to grow our channel from you, and it's the absolute truth, and I told them what I had said to you guys on this, on last week's What's Up was, you know, that if Omar asked me to to prove that I'm legit, I to, I would close down my channel, shut it down, and uh, and Omar's like, oh that's so sweet. He goes, you don't have to do that. <laughs> and I was like, I just just saying, you know. And it was cool. I'm not gonna give you all the grisly details, but you know, 
you know, we got to say a lot of things to him, and I don't know if I got everything out properly. I mean, the whole time we hung out with both of them, I I must have sounded like a a stuttering moron because a lot of times my I just had so many brain farts and. Had we had a lot more time, I would, I mean, I was relaxed around him by the end, but, you know, I still, you know, it's still Omar and Melissa, you know, and they, they are so awesome, guys, they are so awesome. And, um, so anyway, after we ate breakfast, um, which you're going to probably see some of that, uh, Omar did vlog, um, I didn't. And, uh, and I want to talk about that too. So I had just made a conscious decision and I may have mentioned it in last week's video that I wasn't going to film very much and I didn't. And I know a lot of you are probably expecting, um, some grand vlog of, uh, me and George and Omar and Melissa. You'll get a little one little bits and pieces I don't know how good it's gonna be honestly of course I say that about every one of my videos before I go through the footage so uh, I'm sure I could make something out of it so um, but I didn't film any of that um, which you know in hindsight I kind of wish I did only for personal reasons just for the memory factor but you have to understand when the guy who is your mentor, the guy that inspired you to do what you're doing, is standing in front of you. I just felt, it felt wrong somehow. I don't know. I just didn't feel right. And, and I'll get into that in a little bit too. But then we went to the fan meetup. Oh, yeah. So we followed them to the fan meetup. And then, so it was at this little park, and a ton of people. If you if you follow Melissa on Twitter, you'll see this group picture of all the people that came. Awesome people! Um, it was so cool to to meet some fans um, that I didn't know in person. You know, it was so cool. It was so awesome to have uh, a lot of you came up and said hi to me and George. <laughs> It was cool, you know, um, and to watch Omar and Melissa, uh, interact with all of you and, um, and then some of you came up and they wanted to take pictures with me, me and George. I mean, we're small potatoes, but that was really sweet of you to do that and I signed like one or two autographs <laughs> you know maybe a little taste of what Omar gets all the time you know but yeah it was it was pretty neat and then um after he'd you know taken a lot of pictures with everybody and um, people were giving him gifts and stuff. Some really cool artwork. And they made it. There was this one person who made this really cool hat. And uh, they said, give me a kiss on it. It was like paintbrushed or something. It was, Or airbrushed. That's what I'm trying to say. It was really cool. Um, anyway, I guess there was this bridge. Um, which I'm not going to really get into details of. But it, it's supposed to be kind of spooky and whatever. And. So we all decided to go, all of us decided to go up to this little bridge. It was only like two minutes away. It wasn't very far. So Melissa goes, why don't you two just ride with us? Okay. So we, we get into their car and leave my truck behind and drive up there. And of course, you know, the, the other fans, you fans that were there, see us getting out of, um, getting out of the car with them we're like what the heck i'm sure you're all thinking what the heck are those two why did they give them a ride up there you know why are they you know and they they probably saw us not really interacting with melissa or omar while we were at the fan meetup like 
down in the park. Because, I, you know, it wasn't about us. It was about the fam, you know. And uh, so we had a few people coming up and saying, who are you? <laughs> or, you know, hey, uh, do you want to collab sometime? And t asking us questions about vlogging and making videos and, and stuff like that. And um, their channels or, you know, what type of things they like to do. And there were some really cool people there. Um, if you were there and you're watching... I remember every single one of you that came up and talked to me. I do, I do, do. And um, so I want to thank you. You're very awesome people, very nice people. Um, it was very cool. And so I won't get into great detail about that. Needless to say, you know, we all hung out and it was like four hours. And um, so at the end, you know, we decided to go get something to eat. So we go to this uh mexican place down in georgetown and it wasn't just me and george and omar and melissa it was he invited a couple of the other fams that were there it was like maybe maybe 10 six to ten other people that came along and omar pulls out his laptop and his headphones and he starts editing at the, the dinner table so and I was stuck in this middle. Like, it was like a booth where I had I had Omar right next to me here, and I had uh, a fam right here, and and I get a little claustrophobic, and and uh, we ate, and but Omar takes you know it takes a while to edit, and man, it was so cool though. I was sitting right next to him, trying to I, I watched him edit that video he did that vlog video from Georgetown. Um, I was sitting right next to him when he was editing it, and it was really cool to watch him, the master editor, work on, on this video. And obviously, he has a different um, editing software that I do, um, but it was still cool to watch. And um, I picked up on a few little things. And um, and then later on, when he was done editing, he had to make a thumbnail. And it was cool to see that he uses kind of the same process that I make do to make my thumbnails um his is a little different and i was showing him uh, hey you don't have to do all that you could just do this and and then he showed me how he does some other things and i was like oh i'm gonna try that that's cool so it, you know it was kind of neat to pick his brain and see see some things and learn some things from him there and uh that was cool and so um there was this other uh channel which forgive me i don't uh, remember your channel um, I have your phone number and I, uh, the husband's name was Cray sorry it stopped recording on its own uh, must be 30 minutes already holy moly um, his name was Craig I think let me double check I have his phone number right in my pocket and they're really cool and and he wants to collab and do some exploring and stuff and i'm totally down for that and um oh, trying to yeah craig 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 oh and here's the channel name jack ho explorers jack oh jack co which i could stand for colorado explorers so yeah go check out their channel because i'm gonna have to try because i didn't realize they put their channel on there and i was thinking gosh what was their name of their channel i couldn't remember um so i i had it in my pocket the whole time anyway they talked about this asylum a children's asylum that was abandoned and it's haunted and apparently um at one point I mean, there was a lot of bad things that happened there. Um, it's an asylum, right? Um, at one point, uh, a janitor got disgruntled or something like that and ended up bringing a gun to, to the asylum. And in the cafeteria, he ends up shooting like a ton of kids and, and people. Oh, my gosh. That's horrible. And um, so it was supposed to be haunted. And so Omar obviously was like, let's go. Let's do it. You know, because he wanted to film a bunch of videos while he was here. Um, so we went. I won't tell you 
all the details of that because it's boring. So we went to the asylum and uh, we tried to find a way in. And it was boarded up really good. And so, um, but it was next to an active asylum. So we couldn't use our lights while we were outside. Um, so I, so I didn't film anything outside. Um, we, we got to one of the last buildings and Melissa came running around the corner. I found a way in, I found a way in. And we we're like, really? And she said, yeah. So she went around, went back around and, and she, man, Melissa was being totally savage, man. He, you guys have never seen this part of Melissa. It was so awesome. I don't even think Omar may have ever seen this part of Melissa, but she was so savage. It was just, it was awesome. She pulled off this cover of this hole that uh, was like to a tunnel. It had like a stairs and it went down into this like basement or crawl space. And, um, and it, you know, it was muddy and, stanky and um, and we tried to find a way into the main building but we never did and um, we did film and um, we did hear stuff and um, but then we went back outside to see if we could again find a way in and the cops showed up and we so we all started running away and, and I didn't run, I walked fast because the steel one doesn't run. If you see me running, you better start running too because there's something chasing me. <laughs> so, anyway, so that was that. And uh, we rode with Omar and Melissa to that place too. So they took us back to, oh, we had met at Target down in town. And, um,. I was, I was almost sure that that was going to be it, that we were going to say our goodbyes to, to Omar and Melissa, like that's, this was going to be it, and I, I was thankful at that moment, I'm like, I'm just thankful for the little bit of time, that this day that I got to spend with, with them, you know, um, even if it's just a little, and um, I was standing next to Omar, on the driver's side, we were like, he was grabbing something or whatever. He's all, so, um, you guys have to work tomorrow? I'm like, yeah. And at this point, it was already like midnight. And I had to work the next day. So did George. And he's like, oh, well, do you guys want to do something tomorrow? I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and he's like, all right, cool. Uh, we'll just, you know. Uh, hit me up and I instantly thought yeah right you know how long it takes you to to see my DMs you know I don't know so I was like why don't you give me your phone number and he said alright <laughs> so he's like don't give it to anybody and I'm, I'm, I'm not giving it to nobody except for maybe George which Omar said I could do that um, so we said our goodbyes and honestly at that point I still felt like well he's just being nice and because they are they are so nice guys you love them for who they are on video and they are awesome on video but I'm going to tell you right now they are 10 times even better in person I mean, like James, he's exactly like you see on video and well, off camera too, you know, exactly. But Omar and Melissa just, like, they're, it's even more, like, I don't even know how to explain it. They're just so sweet. Melissa, you know, we don't hear a whole lot from Melissa in the vlogs, you know. So it was really cool to really get to know her. And it was awesome to be able to tell her that she was the final reason that made me want to do, um to do uh, YouTube and she was like really and I go yeah I have proof check your um, Facebook message I'm in there and it is dated and all that and when we get sat down in the restaurant when we we're eating breakfast she looked it up she goes sure enough that's where it is right there and I'm like yeah. so 
anyway, so Monday comes and I'm super tired. I didn't get to bed till like 1.30 in the morning and I had to work at, uh, I had to get up for work at four o'clock in the morning. Monday came and I didn't hear from, well, I, actually at work on Monday, I texted Omar and said, hey, this is my number, you know, in case you guys wanted to, you know, do something or whatever, just let me know. And he's like, hey bro, you know, you know, um, we're just trying to figure out what we're doing. So, and so I didn't hear from him the rest of the day, which was good because I was tired and I just wanted to go to bed. And so then yesterday, Tuesday, um, I'm driving home from work and Melissa messages me on Facebook and she's all, what'd she say? Uh, we're coming back down from the mountains soon from the Stanley Hotel. Did you guys want to do something? And do you work, or do you work to tomorrow? And I was driving, and I had to read it. I, I don't typically do that, and I honestly, guys, do not look at your phones while you're driving. Too many accidents happen, but I did. Sorry, I did. But, I, I mean, I was safe. Uh, I slowed down and there the whole bit, so. Um, and by the time I messaged her back, I was stopped. I was at a light, so. Anyway, so so I wrote her back and said, um, yeah, we gotta work tomorrow, but we're down, I'm down to do anything. And she said, okay, here's my phone number. So, I was like, okay, well, I'm on the road. I'll give you a call when I get home. And uh, so we talked on the phone and we made plans and um, we met them. Uh, I had, we, I made a huge mistake yesterday. So we were planning to eat with Omar and Melissa last night. And um, I didn't, didn't know where we were gonna eat. And they were saying they're staying in Denver. So I figured it would be in Denver. So I went all the way to George's to pick him up. Then I called Melissa again to say, where are we eating? And then they didn't, they hadn't made up their mind where they wanted to go. So they were asking me if there was a place in Aurora, which is where I live, it's in Aurora. And so I was thinking, oh, I should just had George drive down to Aurora because the third bridge, which is where they wanted to go film after we ate, is also in Aurora. So I drove all the way to La to Lafayette where George lives and then drove all the way back basically home to eat at Sweet Tomato and um, and that, that I wanted to talk about that too so yesterday before I left I decided well I'm going to uh, since I didn't vlog very much when we first hung out with them I'm going to this time if anything just for private use for just for the memories you know but I started to but I, again I just didn't it just didn't feel right you know I would it just for me and I don't probably didn't it didn't phase them at all because they're used to having cameras in their everybody's faces but it just didn't feel right I didn't feel comfortable doing it because I don't know, it just, I don't know, it just didn't feel right. Uh, I, I wanted to be respectful of them, and um, I don't know, it just, it felt uncomfortable for me because it's Omar, and I'm trying to build a relationship and a friendship with them, and I mean, let's pull out a camera and stick it in their faces, and Maybe someday, you know, but it just didn't feel right. So we ate at Sweet Tomato um, and talked. It was so awesome to get to know them. And man, they told us so many things. And, you know, we were driving up to the third bridge and they told us so many things and um, things that. that uh you know shows trust that they trust george and i you know just really just 
it's just amazing and um I don't know, I just, I just love them so much, and, um, and I'm just so humbled by the whole thing, and I just, I am just waiting, ready to, I'm just ready to, or I'm not ready to wake up, I don't know, I just feel like this whole thing has been a dream, and it is amazing, and so we filmed at the third bridge, we, bam, I don't know what it is, when we were with James, stuff always happened, and you know, when George and I are by ourselves, you know, well, I mean, things happen to George, but things don't really ever happen to me, but it's just so, it's so awesome, when we went, when we went to the third bridge, I don't think, I remember anything really happening, um, but man, fam, I'm not going to tell you what happened. Omar's going to be putting his video out first. And it probably won't come out for a couple weeks or so. But OMG. We got some stuff. It is amazing. I can't, put the, I can't even tell you. I can't tell you. I'm not going to tell you. You're just going to have to wait for the video. But man, it's the first time anything's really ever happened to me, and or at least for me to hear it. I, George is always coming up and saying, "Guess what happened to me?" And I'm like, oh, "What now, George?" Because <laughs> and not not necessarily negative towards George. It was more negative towards me. Like, oh, man, nothing ever happens to me, but stuff happened. Stuff happened, and I can't wait for you guys to see it. Um, it was really cool to be able to film with my my hero my other hero I love James don't get me wrong but like I said in my past videos you know here's James here's Omar you know just love the man the Omar a little bit more I don't know about love a little more but like you know I don't know how to explain it you guys understand what I'm trying to say um, and James would probably understand too because the reason James is doing videos is because of Omar too. So it's like he gets it, right? So I don't know guys. I'm so excited. Oh and and by the way, like um so I, I showed you guys the bracelets that I had gotten from um through the mail. Well, I had told him when we were at before we started meeting all the fans at the fan meetup that I really wanted one of those marble, red and black marble bracelets, and you guys sent me one red and one black, which is fine. I told them I'm not complaining. I'm just saying that I must have screwed up. And they goes, no, no, you didn't screw up. We ran out of those. So many people were, were asking for it because I had had it in the vlog, you know, and uh, he's all, because he, he had one on his wrist. He goes, here, you can have this one. I'm like, huh. So I, I instantly put it on and... Um, he uh then he found started finding some that he he didn't realize he still had in the packaging and he goes oh do you rather have a new one and i'm all heck no you're wearing this one <laughs> and in in the videos you see him wearing this very i i have that bracelet the one he's wearing in his vlogs and his videos the red and black marbled one i own it um I also gave him some of my bracelets too. They they only wore it that first day, and um, when we met up on the second day, they weren't wearing it, which is fine. I, I don't care. Um, um. Anyway, what was I saying? <laughs> so after we got done filming the third bridge, um, they took me me and George back to my truck, and uh, um, we said our goodbyes, and I think we hugged more than once each you know uh, Melissa is so cool she is so sweet she is so attentive and a good listener and um, she's she's incredible she's incredible so you know oh and one thing I was gonna tell you guys one thing you don't know about Omar because you can't 
You're not next to him. He smells good. <laughs> when we were like underneath the that asylum I was telling you guys about, um, you could just smell him from like five feet away. Anyway, so I'm I'm truly honored. Um, they are calling us their friend, you know, and invited us to come stay with them in Florida and. Um, you know, they asked me to do a favor for them, which I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> but it's just, a, you know, it was all like friend stuff, you know, and it was it was so cool. And, and at the same time, I was like, really? You know, they talk about people that have burned them in the past and stuff. And I'm thinking, what is it about me and George that you, you trust so much? You know, I mean, it's amazing. You know, trusting us with their phone numbers and a bunch of stuff. And I can't, I'm not going to say <laughs> ever my lips are sealed. In fact, I'm probably just going to bloop, delete it from my mind because it don't matter. So I just love them so much. And uh, I just wanted to hang out with them all the time. And, and uh, it was sad to see them go. And, uh, yeah. Guys, once again, I said this with James when he was here. Um, don't hate on us because they chose us to hang out with. I, I, we're nothing special more than you guys. We're just, I don't know. I don't know what it is. The Lord is good. For some reason, you know, sometimes the Lord, um, uh, knows the, the, you know, desires of your heart, you know, and I've, I've never prayed to, to meet them, you know, um, but I just feel like God just blessed us, you know, to, to meet him and both of them, all three of them, the circle is complete. James, Omar, and Melissa, whew, I've met them all. I've got pictures taken with them all. I have their phone numbers, all three of them. Oh, and I, I, I probably mentioned this in other videos and stuff where James never texts me back. <laughs> Don't take it personal. He does it to everybody, including Omar. So, it's, it's a James thing. So, yeah. So I don't feel bad anymore. Still love you, bro. <laughs> Just, I'm without words. I, I really am. Um, I'm excited. I'm, I, I'm full of different emotions. You know, I love them. They are just so incredible. I wish I could. That's why it'd have been cool if I would have vlogged. At least you guys could have at least experienced a little bit of what I what I experienced. I I did vlog a little. I vlogged at the fan meetup and. And, um, little bits here and there. Uh, sorry, fam. Maybe next time. But I did film. We did film a banger. ba 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 banger At the third bridge. Oh, my gosh, guys. I can't wait for you to see it. Like I said, Omar's will be first, so look out for it. And then, uh, George and mine will be out shortly thereafter. And, uh, yeah. Anyway, I better end this video. It's super long. And guess what? Uh, I didn't get to be bed last night till, uh, what was it? Like, almost 3 o'clock. 3 o'clock in the morning. And I have to get up at, like, 4. Well, I overslept. Um, so I got up at, like, was it like five ish and um, I was like late for work so it is what it is I could have just called in sick but I didn't um, so I am super 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 tired right now and I've got to edit this and start getting it uploaded so you guys can see it on Thursday which is today Sorry, I must be talking too much. The 
camera keeps shutting off after I think 30 minutes. Oh, this must be long. All right, guys. I will talk to you in the next video. And remember, if you guys have a question for me, please leave it in the comments and I will answer it in next week's weekly What's Up. Remember, I have merch. It's in the description. And 100% of the money that I earn goes to homeless uh, shoes and socks. And uh, I'll be doing that in December. I'm just trying to build up some money. Right now I think I've got about $300 still. So I haven't had any buy, anybody buy any more merch for a while. But it's there if you want it. Guys, uh, Teespring's just, it says that it only has like three days left or two days left and it's gone. It's not. It just prints every three days. So that means um, if you order it in that three day time frame that they're talking about, it, it'll print in that third day. But if you order it on a fourth day, which is actually the first day, You'll still get it. You can still get it. It's always available. Always available. So don't feel like you're. it's on a time frame. It's not. So anyway, guys, I got to let you go. Uh, I was about to say, before you go, give me a kiss. <laughs> I love you, fam. And we'll see you in the next video.